Hello, hello, no excuses, ladies. We are live here on Facebook, but I encourage you to go to the Zoom meeting. I am here with Aliana right now. Just two of us are on the recording panel on Zoom. But if you will be joining us again, you got the email with the invitation. The code is there. The Zoom link is there. So join us because we would love to have a little discussion with you today. It would be nice to see your face here and hear what you have to say. But in the meantime, I'm just going to start the Zoom. You can always watch the Zoom after. You can replay them. They are on actually Facebook. You can you can even make comments to these videos and uh, send us send me a message. I would love to hear from you. So we're going to start and we're going to have a nice discussion a continuation about the habits today. This meeting is being recorded. All right. So I I started the recording and uh as always I just want to kind of give you a, an idea what is this page all about? I came uh, with an idea to create a page for all the ladies out there who need to find the no excuses way of life to become fit and healthy and have the no excuses mindset so they can succeed in business and in life. And this probably will be you and hopefully this will be you that you're going to find something, uh, some good information here. Because as I, as I am a coach and mentor to a lot of people and uh, owner of the virtual peak, peak physique bootcamp and boxing, I come across daily with a lot of struggle of women. And I feel like women, like we are, we can get united and we can work together instead of going against each other and support each other with the value that we have. And that's what the page is all about. It's, it's about networking and finding maybe people that can help you in life, but not looking for uh, really starting another groups and things that nature. It's more about getting the good information, finding what is, what is really the no excuses how what is the definition how you can find it how you can really start applying this in your life plus i believe that if you have a good group of support if you want to scale in life you need to hang out with people that are a little bit better than you that they've achieved something in life because if you're trying to get better and hang out or, or meet with people and try to learn from people that has not achieved that much, it's going to be very difficult for you. That's the law of the universe. It cannot be anywhere, any other way. And I'm going to give you an example. When years ago, we started being coached by Deidre Skulian, who is the owner of Fit Body Bootcamp in the world, our business scaled. We we absolutely changed everything. And now through having mentor, through having a foundation, we are able to create bigger foundations for our own and it's scale in a business. And, and what happens also is you might be a person that, okay, like thinking you have a purpose in life, you have a reason to do a lot of things and maybe start in business. Oh, I see Paula is here. Hello. And, and you might be thinking like, you know, this is like an overwhelming subject for me because I just started. But guess what? Let me tell you one thing that as you change and as you progress in life, the purpose is changing with you. And that's really interesting. What I've realized in my career as a coach, I started as a person that was teaching classes in, in back in the Spring Valley years ago, you know, I was just a coach that would to teach classes now because of the knowledge and because of the fact that we created a seven figure business, a business that would bring a million dollars from coaching. I am able based on what we've created. I have a knowledge and I can help you to scale where you are right now. And I developed in me a ability to coach and help others. So as you realize, as you see in your career, in your purpose, whatever you do, you're going to discover from your experience things that you used to never had. And you realize, wow, now I can actually do more than I used to. I can, I can actually, you might not even see that yet there, but it's eventually it's going to happen. And that's the beauty of, of becoming knowledgeable and learning through the process 
uh, of of um, what you started years ago, and this is fantastic. This is something that I I would never even imagine years ago that I'm gonna have a group of people of women that I coach. I never had this, but it appeared throughout the me changing my values, me changing uh, as a person, developing and getting more knowledgeable. So I just want to tell you that that the world will surprise you as you uh, go with your mission, if your purpose. So that's very important, right? And I see Ita is here. Ita, join us maybe on uh, on the Zoom if you can on the Zoom recording. So the, the the last week's topic we were talking about habits, right? I hope that a lot of you had a chance to uh, to look into the habits, look into uh, the the recording and. If you have not, make sure that you do that. Now, today, I want to continue with the habits for a little bit. Why the habits? Because this is like a such a huge topic, yet really not understand by a lot of people. It seems like we as human beings really have a difficult time with absorbing new habits, learning new habits, really don't even know where to start. That's why I figured we need to continue with this. So I'm gonna, so today the topic is really the, the, the I would say four, but really five laws of, um, of, of accepting and developing the habits. And I'm gonna give you based on my experience, what I've done it and how I've done it. I'm gonna give you some examples. So it can be, it can be more really, approachable more understandable to you and i would love for you to participate and take some maybe in a chat room eliana you can you can maybe send some messages when you're going to see that it's something that it applies to you or i will ask you a question and maybe you will be able to answer so uh, thinking about uh, about my past let me give you an example of what happened um i had total of three surgeries in my life, right? I had a C-section and then I had a hernia repair surgery. And through these few years, obviously I had to stop working out. I had to stop working out because of uh, the end of the pregnancy, then having the surgeries. And I had to start the workout process from the very beginning. I had to literally implement the workout. And uh, the, the, what I'm telling you right now is giving you an example for a, kind of creating a habit, how you can start creating a habit of working out, how you can create a habit of start working out. And please write it down in the comments. Like, what do you think in your, in, in, in your experience when you started, what did you do? Like, what did you do? Aliana, you can write it down in the comments if you can, or later, I, I maybe you can participate and tell me. This is what I did. I had to make it simple. That's rule number one. Make it simple. Make it easy. Because when you start complicating things, you start going into uh, maybe super advanced things or programs that are not made for you it's gonna be very i see paula you couldn't i guess you couldn't get back or maybe yes hello again if you can go back and we will try to admit you make it super easy and simple so you will not quit because if something is so complicated you will quit and based on what i was doing i had the surgeries I couldn't start doing heavy lifting, complicated workouts. I had to start easy. I, st I had to start simple. And that's what you can do as well. So, so Zoom code not working. I just got a message. All right. I don't know why, because Eliana just get in. Hold on. We're going to fix this. What is happening with these codes? You know what? Zoom, it's been like... I don't know what is what is going on that this is, uh, hold on Ita you have the recent one right the one that I posted correct and that's the one that you should admit yourself so maybe try admitting yourself again and I will see right here and try to admit you to the room if you could because I need to try to go go on and continue with the subject. So make it easy, make it simple. You girls actually a part of peak. You working out. We don't have right now people that have been 
mm, not a part of they're not a part of pick but maybe somebody will be looking at this earlier so uh <laughs> we'll try again so make it simple make it easy that's where peak physique comes in place and what i mean by make it simple make it easy all the workouts are planned for you so you don't need to figure it out what you're gonna do who to follow how to do it it's simple it's there it's available and that's what i also did for myself i had to start easy now number two make it make it nice and attractive like in a way uh so I'm giving you the points. Make it make, number two. Make it nice and attractive. And what I mean by the, by that, you know, for some of you that wants to start working out right now, you girls are working out. But how are you gonna do this? Don't work out in pajamas because we are virtual. So you roll out of your bed. I definitely not recommend you working out with pajamas. Wear nice clothes. Put on good shoes. Get ready. Put your uh, hair in order because if if you not going to do that, if you're going to be working out with pajamas, guess what? What kind of energy you're going to bring to the workout? So based on what I was going through back in then, three surgeries in such a short amount of time, Ita is on. All right. <laughs> you, got, you girls are switching between Paula and Ita. You alternating. And, uh, and so how I did, how I did really uh, nice and attractive for myself well, I was just working out at that time at the gym because the gyms were open and I did not go anywhere else other than to my gym and just doing the workouts every single day. Now, number three, this is all talking about habits and I want to, Ita, write down in the comments, like how did you start the process of working out? I would love to hear from you, Aliana too, write it down. Like how did you start that process? What did you do? Number three, make it clear, make it obvious. So what I did back in the day when after the surgeries, I said, you know what? I said with my family, this is my priority. I need to do this. I need you to be on board. I grabbed my little kids and I went to the gym and I worked out. And I, and I was very clear, put it on my schedule. There was no other way other than just doing this. Now, for those of you who are trying to start the process of working out, because obviously the Zoom is recorded, you, will be, you might be looking at this video later, how are you going to make it clear and obvious? It's the same way. You have to announce to everybody around you that you, this is your goal. What's your goal? You want to lose the weight? Awesome. So now you need to find a place that you actually uh, have the tools and have the uh, steps for you to achieve those goals. And what you need to do? You need to start working out. So also put it on the schedule. This is so important. What's not on the schedule, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And we know this, that when you have something planned and it's there, it's like set in stone. It's there. This is your priority before anything else. And actually, this ties into things from last week when we were saying prioritization, right? When we were saying you cannot do something out of pleasure first before you're going to do something that you must. So don't go out with your friends. Don't watch TV till you're actually going to do the workout and this ties everything makes sense when you actually start doing this but you 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 need to have this this is like a process to have it in place number four i put this based on what i was doing you can make it really happy make it satisfying make it rewarding make it vibrant meaning hard workout if you put on hard workout how do you feel after you feel like energized, you feel, you feel happy, all these good hormones flushing through your blood and you feel like, wow, I accomplished so much. Now I can conquer the world. Yes, Paula is making comments. So, uh, so at peak, obviously that's what we do. That's what we do. We make it happy, we make it vibrant, intense, right? Intense workouts. That's what you get. And that's, very important when you feel accomplished after your workout number five i would say put it, it it's very important almost almost i think it should be as a first number one be patient because people lose sight of the winning they start something and it doesn't come fast enough so what happens is they quit 
That's why people quit. Because they put so much effort, so much time, so much attention, so much energy into it that they want it. And then it doesn't come quick enough. So they lose the sight of fast winning and they just give up. And that's a common thing. But if we're going to apply the rule of being patient and understand, listen, I need to lose 20 pounds. I know that it's going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight. Or somebody has to lose 100 pounds. That's a tremendous amount of weight. Understanding and being patient and seeing this, listen, this is going to be a long journey for me. I'm going to do my best, but I have to know that there will be obstacles on the way. There will be things that I will need to cross over, overcome, learn how, how to battle them, but I will not give up. The obstacle is for me. I always say this. Listen, the, I, this is how I look at obstacles. They are purposely given to you so you work a little harder so you can figure a new way out. Because there is always a solution. Always, no matter what you're facing, it's always a solution. And this is like, this is like a peak freak family right here. We don't even need to be muted. We can just unmute and talk. <laughs> because that's what it is. Girls, what do you think? Let's unmute because now we don't. Yes, Eliana is raising hand. Um, so it's actually funny because I've never actually thought of how I've made working out a habit. I've never really thought of it that way, which is cool. But I did write down how I actually made it happen. And for me, I am a morning person. I am not someone that would just go and hit the snooze and hit the snooze. Like I need to get my workout done early in the morning. I, I'm not saying that I, I can't do it in the evening, but there's a higher chance that if I wait till the end of the day, it's probably not going to happen. So yes. I know for sure in the morning I need to get it done. When I first started peak, I used to go um, to the morning classes, 5 a.m., 6 a.m. sessions. So for me, I always had my clothes picked out the night before. I always had my clothes on top of my dresser ready to go. I know what I need to prepare for as even to the day of the day. Um, I'm really not home most of the day. I work from my parents' house. So every day I get my little Herbalife bag. I put my clothes in, my change clothes. I get my, like a little, like a little preschooler. I get my little lunch <laughs> bag and I put in my bars. I put in my shakes. And I, that's how I feel that I have personally made it a habit. But now more than ever, I feel that putting it in for me every day. And it's like now when I first started peak, my parents, my family was not really about working out. wasn't about anything. And every day now I have to make sure, okay, do I have my workout ready for tomorrow? And do I have my clothes picked out? Do I know what time? So I have a group chat now with my parents, like, okay, tomorrow it's this time every night, every single night, I'll send a message out and the group chat tomorrow. This is the time. Cause they have to work around my schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Oh and, God, poor parents, yeah. put them on that on it's, Zoom. <laughs> now having like that pressure on me, which is for me is also one my reason why as to wanting to keep going. It's like a hundred percent as to keeping it a habit daily and every single day for the rest of my life. That's wonderful. And you got involved your parents through the pandemic. That's just so awesome. That's that's great. Now, now, Paula, what, what are your thoughts? Like when you start exercising, how did that happen? Yeah, I think the accountability for me is key. So um, when I first started peak, you know, again, I, I liked it because it was so close. I could walk there. And so I could um, easily get to the session. I really was without excuse. When we went online, um, still it was even easier. Um, I feel like I had a period where I, I stepped off just due to some care of my mother and my mother-in-law. Yes. But um, having the accountability back again, that to me is key. So I know, as Eliana said, I can't wait till the end of the day. Like I would do that. Oh, I'll do it at three. I'll do it at four. And that time never came. So if I get up at 530 and I know that someone is there, like I'm not going to hit snooze. I'm going to get up and I'm going to do it. Yeah. 
So, so that's so, been so motivating to really get back on track. And you start awesome. to realize, like, when you step away for a month or two, like, I didn't feel good. I, I um, you know, just got more winded, even on, like, a, on, a, on, a, on a hike that wasn't even that strange. I this, I'm not going back. I'm not going back moving forward. Oh, we lost. I think I lost you for a second, but but I think you're back on. You, I think you have the live also, right? And you have the live. You you are on live as well, right? On on Facebook, right? Do we do we, do we hear that echo from the live? Oh, okay. I, I think I stopped that yeah, Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so yes, yes just the fact that somebody is there and waiting for you, that's another factor, right? It help it helps you. It helps you to yeah. be there, right? Mm, uh, Ita, Ita, what do you think? What are like when you started? What was how did you start really the the exercise regimen? <laughs> I knew nothing about exercise before I joined Peak. Um, I knew one thing. I need to lose a ton of weight. And I hated the way I looked. That was the only thing I knew. I was miserable in my own skin. And I was so desperate to lose the weight. And I couldn't have been happier. I mean, since I joined Peak, I was like, you know, I learned so much. And then I did one-on-one. -on -one, so, like, I really learned the exact, you know, not just doing it in class, but I really got a good feel of, um, what's the right word? Like, um, not the modification, but, like, the how to really do the exercises correctly. And I saw tremendous results. And I suddenly felt like, I'm blossoming, like I'm a new person. I, I feel so much better. I look better. I'm happier. I'm like, this is what I always wanted. <laughs> so for me, that was huge. Yes. Yes. So it's so good to see like different perspective of each of you. And and uh, the reason why I gave you the example of, um, of me being really after the surgeries, uh, because for me, really, a, a, a fitness has been all my life. I really don't know any other way. I started as a young kid. And back in the day, really, when I was anorexic, but I started in such a young age, I was like 12 or 13 years old. And in, it's been all my life till the moment when I actually got these surgeries and these the, the three severe surgeries. So I have to tell you, I had a moment in my life after these surgeries that I thought that I will never be able to do a plank. I will never be able to do leg lift because my recovery took a year. After each of them, I was working out, but it was so much modifications. And I, I was doing simple things, just literally worse than a person that never worked out because at, le at least a person that is maybe overweight or, or never worked out, they have a full, cap they can do it. They can increase their stamina very quickly. Here with me, I couldn't because everything was stopping me from each direction, but I couldn't give up. So that's why I gave you that, that, uh, that example that, simplicity uh, you know making it attractive and fun making eventually hard enough and being patient and not giving up that came from the experience eliana what did you wanted to say um there's just a point that i'm here and i think it's great because um it's and Paula both of you are here and it has to do with you um when i talked about me and <laughs> putting the pressure on me with having be basically being the role model. I think that that also helps as into putting it, putting your actual workouts, making it a daily routine as they have it. And then I just thought about it and Paula, you guys doing this zoom thing in the morning, trying to get other people on that pressure is on you guys. You know, if you don't show up, it's like, what the hell? Where are my role models? Because we have a sense inside us where we want to serve others. We want to help others. So now you two are the role models. You guys are the leaders. You guys don't show up. It's like, what the is going on? So now that puts more on you to make it more of a habit as I need to show up tomorrow. I need to get it done. I need to make sure I'm there for the others. 
I think you they didn't even think from that perspective, Eliana. I think they didn't even realize that, that that's, that's what they were true. doing. I that's think kind of uh, yes, it's absolutely it's it's amazing pressure about being as you realize in life especially with workouts, uh, even with losing weight, uh, being uh, having that pressure in your life, that uh, having a little bit of pressure, it's so good. It actually creates creativity, creates the next level, right? Because if you live with no pressure life, you're kind of cruising on auto control. But because you have that little pressure, you want to perform a little better, right? Now you have the morning sessions and you want to try and get people in and you want to show up like Eliana said. So that's, that's, that's what we want to create. We don't want to create a life with, uh, without questions or life that it's always the same every single day. We want to have these obstacles. That's what I was saying. Almost encourage the obstacles to come to you. When, 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 I don't even know and how this sparked this idea of doing these zooms in the morning. It's just something happened. I don't even something ignite when I don't know if I sp first spoke to you, Ita, when we started the Zoom meeting when you girls are starting meeting with each other, and that's what I'm saying. Like you come with the creativity along the way. Because there, there was a problem, and the problem was, was here, that some people need encouragement, that some people cannot do the replay of the sessions or their own. So no matter how coaches, how many, how many times coaches will say, replay the message, show up, it, it, people still were feeling like they cannot lift themselves up on, the, on their own. But now with this, it creates a pack, right? A pack of people that will give their, each other energy and the ones that were needing people in their group, now they join and they just enjoy the sessions, right? Like, look, Paula, you start exercising immediately, right? You're joining the, the group right now, right? Because it was hard for you on your own. Pascal is the same way. Exactly. So, uh, so right now, that's what I'm saying. Like, it created, there was such a, it was, it was a problem. It was an obstacle. But we over, overcome it. And who knows? What, is, what else is going to come out, out of all of this, what you're doing in the morning? We don't know. Maybe it will be that next level. Maybe how, how Peak will be running the sessions eventually. There will be rooms that we're going to be meeting also. You don't know. That's what I'm saying. It's like a spark and it creates eventually a good fire. So don't be afraid of the obstacles. Let them guide you in your life because I think that's what we need to understand. And, 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 and that's where the no excuses mindset comes in place, I think, because you are like thinking, you know what, there is an obstacle. I don't know how to figure something out, but there is an answer in this obstacle. Look for the answer. Look for the clues. It's almost like, think like playing a game, playing a game of clues, how to figure stuff out. And it's going to be much better. And then your life becomes much better and interesting because Every day, every day we have obstacles, right? Every day something happens. Every day is, it, you might have a little setback. And, and setbacks happen for a reason. They happen for us to take a look in them and say, okay, I need to take a different route. Or maybe I have to assess the situation a little better. Maybe I need to slow down. Maybe I need to slow down, step back, and start the process all over again. That's what it is, really. And uh, and I, I'm sure when you look in, in your life like this, you're going to realize that you've had those. Like, Paula, like, uh, like right now you're starting a journey. You lost weight initially, right? But now your goal is additional 20 pounds, correct? Yeah. So, so, so it's almost like the journey is from the beginning, correct? You're starting like all over again. Yeah. But what the lesson, what is the lesson? What is the lesson in all of this? That you're starting yeah. again from the very beginning. What you should never do. Quit. Yes. Don't quit. Right. Never. Yeah. So yeah. no, no COVID, no pandemic can stop us. Because if we being stopped by outside sources, only us, the self, suffer. 
realized it. It's our body that will suffer, our mind that will suffer because we're going to gain the weight and we're going to let the outside sources control us, which we are in full control here. So now, you know, never quit, never stop, keep on working out. And no matter what's going to happen, the snowstorm, whatever there is, there is always a way of staying fit and healthy, right? Eat that too. Like when you stop with, with peak, you learn the lesson. What was the lesson? Oh my God. It was exactly a year ago, last year, November, December, I was... 20 pounds more than I'm now, even more, I think 25 pounds more. It's not even the, the number on the scale. It's not even the weight. It was the way I felt about myself. Whoever has two working ears and spoke to me or heard about this. <laughs> oh my gosh, I gained so much weight. I gained so much weight. I can't stop. I, I don't know how to stop. I don't know how to do this. I really miss my workouts. I don't know what to do. I'm like, I was a mess. I can't even tell you. And it's a year later now, and I, I really, I just feel like a completely new person. I, I work out, I eat clean, I just feel so much more confident. I look better, I feel better. I mean, to me, it's really about how we feel and, and just like, we just function so much differently. I know, and imagine if all women, if all women would have this, and and so many people out there do not have this because they are in stuck place. So that's why I figured, you know what, we need to boost people' uh, uh, confidence and and help them, and whatever way this can be through these meetings, through education, we can do, we can all do it. And you are walking inspiration because you've done it. And whoever is stuck and made a mistake, set themselves back. The journey is forward. It's not concentrating on the past. Learning, learning, good, learn. But keep on moving forward because the time is ticking. We never go back with time. We only can go forward. There's not back to the future. You know, it's, 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 we're going forward to the future. It's not reversing, right? It's always going forward. And that's how you got to think. Never quit. Never stop exercising. Uh, age gracefully because that's what it, we always aging. We never, it's, that's the, the, the life. And, and, and keep on having no excuses. Just keep on always repeating to yourself. Don't have any excuses because excuses will stop your life. Right? Exactly. What a nice meeting, the four of us today. <laughs> well, that was good. We talk about a lot of things. So this is a recording. This is going, I always have this in my file. If you ever wanted to look in this, let me know. I can always share that with you. We are still on live on Facebook. So this stays in and you can hear your voices there. So it's all recording there. It's always there. But anyway, ladies, you can share even from our Facebook. You can share this live. Let it make it available to others. If some other women are having a trouble, let them join in. Invite them. Hopefully, they will find something useful here today. It was nice. It was like the Peak Freak family here today. Very nice. Anyway, I hope this was useful and it gave you some good vibe and you learned, and you learned a little bit from this. And uh, yeah, we keep on going every week, something different. And if you have any, any topic that you want to discuss, post it. And I would love to, I would love to discuss with you, you know, maybe something from your life that it's happening. Maybe something that you've realized in, in your own self that you can't get over. It's always going back to the same thing. Maybe there is something specific that you having a, a difficult time and then we can discuss it because look, each, each of us give us some kind of a message. You're going to learn so much. You can apply from other people because I, people, we figure things out right we all figure things sure. out and once you figure it out and start implementing it and you see a change then you can share to others right. that's that's the whole idea here so make sure that you also do the homework uh, that you do the video 
I know that a lot of uh, a lot of people don't like the live video, so record one and post it on the page about that homework. It's been done a long time ago, but it's nice to say it. What do you do? Uh, what 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 is that that you really want trying to achieve here? Like a short little video. It shouldn't be long. It's there. It's on the page. It says homework on it. Okay. Because Eliana did it, however, her video, I don't know where your video is, it's like the gun. <laughs> I can't find it now. Hold on, what do you mean? My mask video, that one I couldn't find, but the other one was there. It was, and now today I was scrolling, I couldn't find it, but maybe we will, well, maybe we will. Well, guess what, you're not getting a third video. <laughs> How many freaking filters do you want me to use? <laughs> no filters. Anyway, uh, Ita, Paula, do the video. <clears throat> Don't overthink it. It's short. Do it. Look, this page hopefully will grow with over time. Hopefully we're going to create more. Okay? We're going to have uh, more, more to say and more to discuss. Hold on. Let's take a picture. Because every single day, we, every I single week, like we... You took pictures? Oh my gosh, she was taking when I was like this, or maybe I was like that. No, come on, let's do when we all smile. We're gonna say goodbye to you and finish here. Nope.